Hello, we're the New Level Nerds, and this is our Elite Dangerous tutorial on Neutron Star Jumping. With the 2.2 update, traveling across the galaxy is easier than ever before. Neutron stars and white dwarfs can be used to increase FSD range by as much as 300%. This makes traveling across the galaxy faster and easier than before. I don't recommend using white dwarfs, as they can easily damage your ship. But neutron stars can be used safely with minimal damage to your FSD. Line up with one of the arms from the star. Aim for further along the arm. The same benefits can be gained anywhere along the length. It only takes a quick YouTube search to find out what happens when your ship is too close to the star. Move slowly as the arms are only a couple of ship lengths thick and you don't want to fly out the other side. As you enter the arm, your ship will be knocked about by the intense forces from the star. An alert message will appear on your screen. Ignore it. Greatness is not gained without taking a few risks. If you're able to stay within the neutron star's arm for long enough, a message will alert you that your FSD is supercharged. From here, you can visit the rest of the star system. You will not lose this charge until you jump. Finding neutron stars on your galaxy map is as easy as filtering by star types in the map menu. Under Show by Color, scroll down to select Star Class and unselect everything except for non sequence stars. From there, your map will only display neutron stars and black holes as a gray dot. Move around along the galaxy map until you find one within reach. It takes some effort to find them further out from the center of the galaxy, but it's worth it. It gives you a great boost to wherever you're going. Good luck, and I hope this will help you in your travels. This was the New Level Nerds, and we'll see you starside.